What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Omega Ruby walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, it's been a while since I've done a recording, so I'm assuming that we beat somebody, toured a place, and all that stuff, and I'm assuming that, well, some of my Pokemon are right there. Yeah, okay, yeah, right on. Okay, so... We're going to continue on our adventure right here. We're going to be going straight down to Mount Pyre and see what the hell is going on over there because apparently somebody said Mount Pyre. Anywho, well, here we are in Route 121, looking all sexy as always and everything like that. And, well, we are like, we have already traveled all of the mainland, what was it, all mainland... Poen and all that stuff and now we gotta well we gotta take care of this business right here in order to get to the other islands which we will be finding eventually I don't even know don't know what to say right now because I'm trying to run trying to focus on everything right here so let's see the as you probably already know the safari zone's right over there so we will get to that uh, eventually but I think the main thing that we need to do right here is uh, talk to these people ahead looms Mount Pyre it's a natural monument to the spirits of the departed Pokemon. Just kind of eerie right there. Now, I forgot that there is a, uh, well, there's the Nurse Joy right there. So you can always go right there to heal up your Pokemon. Just completely forgot all about that. So, let's go see what's going on right here. Mount Pyre. Okay, alrighty. So how are you guys doing right now? It, uh, it is currently May 26th, I think, that I'm currently recording this and... You know, everything's good. Um, the, what was it, what was it called? The, the shelter in place have been lifted right here where I am at. But we still, well, not really. We got put into phase 2.5 and all that stuff. So technically, I'm, I'm almost there, guys. I'm almost there to start to work. Don't worry. Draven's going to work. Now, here we are in Mount Pyre. And, well, a lot of the people right here are telling me that this is the final resting point for their departed Pokemon right here. Now, are there any trainers here? Like, see, do you come to play with Yes, I do care about my Pokemon. And there is one guy that wants to take on me right now. Bring it. Okay, so here we go. First battle of the day. Pokemaniac Mark right here. And he's coming out with Lyron. Okay, all right. So here we go. Sage of the Halo ready to kick some butt. Alrighty, okay, let's go, okay. So anywho, a few days ago, I finally reached 7,000 subscribers, and I just want to say again, thank you guys for helping me subscribe, or helping me get to 7,000 subscribers. For those who are new, yeah, I've been stuck at 6,000 for quite some time, and hopefully by the end of this whole thing right here, hopefully by the time we're done, you know, with this, with the whole year, we'll get to maybe 8,000, 9,000, maybe 10,000, depending on how you guys feel. I gotta do my part, and that is entertain you guys with the Pokemon videos that I have. And yes, I know I'm, you know, just picking random, you know, picking random moves and all that stuff. But that's cool. That's cool. That's, that's how Draven rolls right here. So, look at that. Sage of the Halo getting points. And we defeated Pokemaniac Mark. And he's like, hey, I'm sorry. Forgive me, please. No, I will not forgive you. Okay, so there will be trainers that you will be fighting around here, guys, and, uh, well, there are ghost-type Pokemon here, too. Let's see. It's a na it's natural for people and Pokemon to be buried in graves once they die. But I hear that that's not the usual way in some places in the world. Uh, well, that is true. That is so true. And, well, let's see. All sorts of things wander the slopes of Malpire. There is no telling what may happen. Take this. It's for your own good. And we get ourselves a cleanse tag, which will help propel some of these Pokemon right here. And, well, let's see. Grab this item right here. Look at that. We found ourselves an Ultra Ball. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Alrighty. So let's GTFO here. And god dang it, another Pokemon trainer. When I'm here, some sort of power flows into me. Are you sure it's not just gas? Because if you have gas, and it's okay. You know, everybody farts. I mean, found that out the hard way. So here we go, going up against another uh, maniac here, Hex Maniac, and she's coming out with a Sable Eye, or Sable Eye. And, well, Sable Eye is a. Yeah, it's a ghost and dark type Pokemon. Pretty much an invincible Pokemon right here. I was kind of like just questioning should I use Leaf Blade since it's a physical attack? Or is it a special attack? I don't even know. 
And look at that, Sir Razor grows to level 32. Yes, Sir Rebob. And we, we're still keeping Sir Razor on my team for for a very good reason. After this whole thing right here, this total buckle, yes, we will be traveling elsewhere. Now, here are some items right here, right behind the black belt. You just need to sneak right behind him and grab that. Yes, sir. And, well, I'm just going to keep on going. And, well, we got some Pokemon wanting our attention right there, just like uh, any kind of wild Pokemon right now. And, well, let's go ahead and switch out our Pokemon here. Okay, so, let's see. We still got Desert Storm on our team. Hydra 2, Gaia, and Sir Razor. So, let's go with Gaia right here. I guess the end goal right here is to evolve Desert Storm as well. And, well, here we go. Gaia's looking at us. He's like, teacher, please watch over my progress. Okay. So, here we go. Black Belt Atsushi. Atsushi. Wants to battle us, and he's coming out with a macho kid. Well, look at that. Big old macho right there. Okay, so here we go. Brace. And we got no guard, so I'm assuming that no guard right there is uh, lowering defenses and all that stuff. Holy crap, what the hell did I do in the last episode? So apparently I didn't... I didn't drain it, or no, I didn't heal any of my Pokemon, so... Yeah. Wow. Holy bejeebus. And look at that. Asushi has been... As with fried. Look at that button, okay. So that guy is done, and I'm trying to look for the exit right here. Now there's quite a few trainers that will be battling us. Uh, little girl right here is gonna be looking at us. It's just like, when I told everyone that I can talk with Pokemon, they, be they became concerned with me, or for me. Okay, so here we go. Going up against Fairy Tale Girl Momo. And uh, she will be coming out with a Jigglypuff. Now here, now in this in, in, in this you know generation of uh, of Pokemon Omega Ruby Alpha Zapphire, yes, Jigglypuff is a fairy type Pokemon. So just be aware of that, you know, if you're trying to just like destroy it and everything. So I'm gonna use a Dazzling Gleam just to destroy it. Look at that. Not very powerful. Look at that. Yeah, buddy. Okay, alrighty. And we defeated Momo. My Pokemon. Oh wow. <laughs> so that's kind of scary when you have big eyes. Okay, so that's done. And there's a Pokemon wanting our attention, but there is a double battle waiting for us right there. So let's go right ahead and switch it out. Let's go with Sage of the Halo and Hydra 2 and see what happens. Oh, that. We can test our courage. My girlfriend will love me even more when she sees how cool I am. We'll show her. How cool I am by knocking you out! I'm, I'm really scared, but as long as my boyfriend, uh, I'm with my boyfriend, I'll be okay. Don't try to show me how cool he is by knocking you out. Okay, alrighty, okay, so what happens if I win? I'm just asking. So, here we go, young couple Dez and Bryant. I mean, Dez and I don't remember her name. I just went off of the former Cowboys uh, wide receiver there. And look at that, two badass Pokemon versus two... Eh, yeah, two okay Pokemon right there. Now, let's go right ahead and just teach him a lesson in humility. Let's go with a Leaf, and let's go with a Surf. Yes, destroy you all. So here we go. Leaf Blade. Engaged. Yeah, buddy. So one hit, KO. And let's see, Hydra grows to level 51. Making it my, well, it still is my strongest Pokemon. And, well, here we go with a Surf Attack. Splash that kitty cat. Yeah, oh, nearly beats it. And, well, I put one of my Pokemon to sleep, but that's okay. It's all right. We can, uh, well, we can switch, or we can just, like, you know, we can take a, a turn off by using this final awakening that I have right here. So let's go with Sage and uh, Hydra. Let's go with an Ice Fang right here. Alrighty. So wake up. Wake up, Sage. And there we go. Oh, wow. This Pokemon is becoming lucky because it has seven lives, or nine lives, I should say. So let's go with a Dragon Tail. Destroy you. So here we go. S Leaf Blade. For the win. Suck on those leaf blades right there. Look at that. Alrighty, okay. And, well, let's see. Sir Razor grows to level 33. And, bam. Scaredy cat's right there. Maybe she should be my, my girlfriend, but it's alright. It's okay. 
Anywho, let's continue on our adventure. I'm trying to find uh, the exit right here. If not, then we're gonna be going upstairs. It's a little bit higher, and we're gonna be oh well, yeah, we're gonna be battling a lot of a lot of trainers right here. So let's go right ahead and put Desert Storm in the front and put Gaia here. Good combination and all that stuff. Let's see. Now the other day I actually uploaded my Pokemon Heart Gold walkthrough, and I hope you guys are enjoying that too. It you know, as of right now, it's still going to be what? It's going to be a, a weekend kind of thing, just like with the Pokemon Leaf Green. Eventually, you know, when I have more liberties, after I'm done with all these walkthroughs right here. Oh yeah, we're going to be falling, uh, we're going to be going full go on to Pokemon Heart Gold. I already, well, technically I already recorded 15 episodes, so it's, it's going to be cool. It's going to be good. And, uh, well, yeah, again, thank you guys. Thank you for the subscribers and all that crud. So here we go, let's see, Dragon Breath, will that work against, oh wait, Mawile is a fairy type Pokemon, I just realized that, so let's go with a Drapper right here, and let's go with a Dazzling Gleam right there, so let's get this. Dazzling Gleam, gets them both, nearly takes them out, and here comes that uh, agility attack from Drapperick, and here we go, Dragon Breath for the win! Suck it, Giraffe Rig. Alrighty. Look at that. Look at that. Okay, okay. And it wants to learn Hyper Beam. Oh, wait. It was just like being quick, quick to the trigger. You know what? I'm going to keep the moves that I have because, you know what? Hyper Beam, you can actually buy around here. And it's not much of a... Well, it is a very, very powerful move, but... You kind of don't need it for the moveset that I have right here for Desert Storm. And look at that. Gaia grows to level 43 as well. And let's see. Everybody's gaining experience points. But here comes a faint attack. And that wasn't much of anything. So let's get this Rock Slide onto this Pokemon right here. And let's finish it off with Magical Leaf. Here we go. The Magical Leaf. I'm not talking about weed or pot or anything like that. Even though they, it is kind of magical, it is. Don't do drugs, guys. And look at that. Sage grows to level 50. And we've defeated uh, the, the girlfriends. Uh, Ellie and I can't remember her name. Okay, so... Oh, wow. Crap, we, we, we got a lot of people. I like all things with, like, horrifying dis or uh, I like all things horrifying. It's like a disease. When I'm here, I shiver with fear. She must be a goth. Trust me, guys. Dating a goth girl. Kind of freaky. Kind of weird. But kind of freaky. But they're still pretty cool. Anywho, let's get this. Going up against a Shupit. Or a Shupit. And, well, here we go with the Dragon Breath right here. Let's go. Eat this Dragon Breath. And it didn't get paralyzed. But here comes an Embargo attack. And I don't know what move I have to... Eat. Well, I don't know what move... Similar to this guy I have, I don't even know. So let's go with another Dragon Breath right here. I could see a Dragon-type Pokemon using it on a Dragon-type. Ghost on a Ghost, but... You using it on me? What the hell, man? Like, probably Crunch? I don't have Captain Crunch or anything? I don't know. So here she's coming out with a Zatu. So let's go with Gaia right here. And let's uh, just destroy them all. Finish them all. Alrighty, okay. Look at this. Gaia the Fierce Knight looking... All freaking awesome right here, and it's coming with a uh, with a Zatu right here, coming with an early bird, so we can't put it to sleep, but we can shock it. Here we go. Oh yes, charge beam, engaged. Look at that. Look at that. Okay, alrighty. Look at that. And Sir Razor grows to level 34. It's another fine, fine level that it's growing to. Now. Many of my Pokemon right here, well, my team members, they're they're finally growing to their little 50s, and we still got like maybe two badges to go. But before we even head into the, the next two gym battles, we still got a lot of stuff to take care of. So the possibility is that I might just have to switch out Pokemon, probably Pokemon from older older teams, such as you know my Leaf Green team, my Pokemon Yellow team. I don't know, but we're going to be using some other Pokemon so they can gain levels. Because remember, guys, in, once you're playing Pokemon uh, X, Y, Omega, Ruby, Alpha, Zapphire, easy, easy, easy. It's like everything is easy to, tra to train your Pokemon right here. And here we go. Pokemon are precious companions for me on the long trip. Okay. 
The long trip. Alright, what's up? Here we go. Darnell wants the battle and he's coming with his Kickleon. Okay, let's go. Desert Storm right here. And, well, let's see. We're gonna have to trap this guy. So let's go with the Rock Slide. And this guy avoided. And, ah, uh, crud. Shadow Claw does not do much. But here we go again. Let's go with the Rock Slide. Come on! Desert Storm. Pretty awesome Pokemon right here. And yes, you are now a Rock type Pokemon. So, just beware. Beware of the Desert Storm. Here we go. Let's finish this guy off with Earthquake Attack right here. It's going to be super effective now. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Slap into a Slim Jim. Okay, alrighty. Okay, and Darnell has been defeated. Okay, alrighty. So what's next? Okay, so... I know what you guys are thinking. Draven's just going to do two parters in Mount Pyre. No, I'm not. I'm going to be going upstairs right here because... We got a little bit of something going on. Apparently Team Magma is planning something big and we need to take care of that stuff and well we oh wow i think we ran out yeah we ran out of max repels right here so let's go right ahead and find uh, another repel oh yeah we got super repels right here oh not that right here super repels okay all righty now i don't want to be attacked by any pokemon just yet but i think you can find a mega stone right around here too so we're just gonna be checking every corner right here eventually it gets foggy and it just gets scary a little eerie and all that stuff but you will find some pokemon here you will find a tm as you can see bam found ourselves tm61 will-o-wisp and it's a move that automatically burns a pokemon right there now let's see there's nothing right here i think you can find a a a, a uh whatchamacallit a vulpix around here too Alrighty, look at this. Look at that. Look look at the height on this this mug right here. Oh damn, okay. And yes, I will like another repel because I don't want to get attacked by any Pokemon right here. So let's go right here and grab this, a max potion. And that's that right there. And let's see. There should be a hidden item right around here somewhere. Okay, alrighty. Let's see. Where are we? Okay, so right here. I think we go in the back right here. Then we can actually get an item. Found an Ultra Ball. And that's nice. And I thought it was going to get like super foggy. But no, it's not going to get foggy. Kind of disappointing. So grab this. We found ourselves a Max Ether, Which we could probably use on our team right now. Because I guess all like most of my team members are kind of... Depleted under PPs and all that crud. And, well, there's nothing right here. So now let's just step into the... Into this way right here. And you'll see some Team uh, Magma members right here. So let's go right ahead. And, well, we're gonna restore... We're gonna restore this guy right here. Because I don't want... I don't want Desert Storm to get his butt kicked right here. So there we go. Okay, so let's go right ahead. It might be a double battle. And no, we would not like a repel. So let's. No, it's not a double battle. It's just an angle. You! We met in Mount Chutney! Now I'll take my revenge! Okay, so they got revenge in their head. And here we go. Take another Tina, a Team Magma member. And he's coming out with a coughing right here. Alright, Desert Storm. You can do this. Fortunately, we don't have a. Uh, well. Confian does have that, that level take saying, so we can't do anything right now. So here we go. Rock slide. Nearly takes him out. So let's go. Desert or uh, dragon <laughs> dragon breath. And look at that. Coughing defeated. Okay, alrighty. Okay, look at that. And we defeated the Magma Grunt. Yeah, you, you still feel like a kid, okay? Getting your butt kicked again. Back okay, kid, okay, so who's next? Who are you? What can a kid do all by himself? Not oh, much. What? You know, have you heard of uh, child geniuses and all that stuff? Because that actually exists. So let's go with another team, Magma Grunt, and he will be coming out with a new mill. And let's see, Desert Storm. Let's see, uh, let's see if Earthquake does the, the, does the job right here. 
And yes, it does. New Mole is also a ground type Pokemon, but I, that's what I thought. That, well, I thought it was going to resist that. So let's go. Coming out with a Mighty Enna. So we're going to be switching it out right here. Let's go with Sage of the Halo. Alrighty. Okay. Who's ready to get their butts kicked? Alrighty. Mighty Enna. Looking all mean and everything. But not mean enough. Here we go with the Leaf Blade. Yeah, buddy. Bam, 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 and bam. And there goes Mighty Anna. Yeah, buddy. Okay. Alrighty. And let's see. Defeated Team Magma. Granted, <laughs> he'll feel me later. Okay, whatever. Alright, so let's go on to the sides right here. Actually, can you sneak into these? No, you can't. Alrighty. Let's see. No, you can. There's there's some tombstones right here, but I'm pretty sure there's a. Oh, there we go. You can find a hidden item right here in a tombstone. Let's see. Uh, let's see. What about this one? No. What about that one? No. Okay. So let's get the F out of here and go towards the other side right here. And would you look at that? Another another. Uh, what you might call it? Another <laughs> another mega stone right here. So this this right here is for. Another part of my uh, Mega Stone little series right here. So, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Mega Stone series. And at Mount Pyre, towards the top of the, uh, towards the top of Mount Pyre, you will be able to find this Moonstone or this Mega Stone right here, which is the Bane Knight or the main, the Bayonetta Knight. Don't know how to pronounce it. And then in just a little bit, you'll see a little clip of me Mega evolving a Bane Knight. So, thumbs up right there. Andy, let's continue on right here. And, well, let's see. Uh, nothing right there. Let's see. There's nothing right there. But there are... There is a Pokemon wanting my attention. What the heck does... What Pokemon is this? Okay, so if you want my attention, you must be a pretty good one. Because you've been calling me. Let's see. Oh, it's a Vulpix! Okay. Alright. I'm coming. I'm coming, Vulpix. Bam. Saw me. Okay, let's see. And here we have a Vulpix. Beautiful little Vulpix. And if you guys don't remember, I may or may have not gotten a Vulpix in an Emerald version. And I kind of want to get it right now. So let's go throw an Ultra Ball at it. Alrighty. So let's go. Ultra Ball. Come on. Stay in the ball. Stay in the ball. Stay in the goddamn ball. Stay in the ball. It's in the ball. Throwing out that peace sign, guys. I am throwing out that peace sign. Alrighty. Okay, so everybody's getting experience points. And let's see what kind of Pokemon we got right here. We got Vulpix, the Fire-type Pokemon. And at the time of its birth, Vulpix has one white tail. The tail separates into six of its uh, of this Pokemon, receives plenty of love from its trainer. The six tails become magnificently curled. That's cool. Very, very cool. So, let's go right ahead and nickname this Pokemon right here. Let's go ahead and nickname it Zoro. Which, that is incorrect. So, let's go Zoro. And that's pretty much it, right? I think? Yes. So, welcome back to the, uh, the club, Zoro. And, well, eventually we're going to be using that Pokemon somewhere along the lines. I don't even know. Doesn't Mega Evolve or anything, but it's a pretty good Pokemon to actually have. It can learn Psychic and everything, you know. It's kind of a mysterious Pokemon and all that stuff. So let's continue on right here. Actually, you know what? I got a Pokemon. I got a Pokey Egg that I still haven't hatched. How long is it gonna take for this guy to hatch? Oh, finally. Okay. All right. Hopefully in this episode, I, I hope. So let's go ahead and battle this guy. I shall. Sh I shall show you the true terror of Team Magma. Okay. So here we go, another Team Magma Grunt wants the battle, and he will be coming out with his Mighty Anna right here. Look at this, Mighty Anna. You know, I actually thought Mighty Anna was going to be pretty cool. You know, it's going to be a very strong Pokemon, but eventually it just didn't become a strong Pokemon. It just became like the dark type Radita, where it just, you know, you, you either use it for what? You either use it for an extra Pokemon, or you use it for an HM. That's it. And that it kind of disappointed me. I actually did. Uh, I actually did play Pokemon Sapphire one time with a Mightyena on my team, 
And wow, I was so disappointed on what kind of moves it could learn, especially in Generation 3. I had to teach it like a bunch of TMs just to learn, just to make it capable of battling anybody. So yeah, that kind of stuff was just uh, harsh. And look at that, Sir Razor grows to level 40 or 35. And let's see, it's learning Gastro Acid. Let's see, what kind of moves should I uh, should I teach it? Uh, let's see, Gastro Acid. Is it, is it, is it an attacking attack? The user hurls it uh, hurls up its stomach acids on the target. The fluid eliminates the effect of the target's ability. Yeah, not a poke, not a move that I want. No. And there we go. And here it comes out with a gold bat. I'm gonna stick by right here with Desert Storm right here. Now, let's get this rock slide. Alrighty, rock slide it away, and there goes that gold bat. Oh wow, it survived and he oh wow, coming with a poison fang right here. Good God. Okay, so oh wow, it doesn't even ah crud, it doesn't even have more rock slides. Yeah, what the hell was I thinking? Alrighty, so here we go, Dragon Breath for the win. And look at that. There we go. And that's how you end that. Okay, alrighty. And no evolutions right now, but once you get to the very top right here, you're gonna be seeing a little bit of a... of something. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. What the hell's he doing? And he just notices us right here. Okay. Hm. So it was you. I'm sorry I had to postpone my defeat to you, or my defeat of you at Mount Chimney. And now, I am sorry that I have to postpone it once more. I cannot afford to waste even a single second now. For the red orb, which has long been enshrined here at Mount Pyre, now belongs to me, the great Maxi. Courtney. Ha. Huh. You must see, or you must see to it that uh, our dear visitor is not neglected due to my inability to, to battle now. Do be kind as to battle him with the full measure of your strength, and crush this boy so that he will be never be able to uh, again for a single moment dream of defying our team. Foo 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 foo. With this red orb in my possession, I have no need for the power of the meteorite to awaken the beast from the from the deep. All I need now is a way to reach the place where it sleeps. The only task remaining is obtaining the submarine being constructed in Slaveport. We move out. Or we move out at once, team. Our next destination: Slaveport City. Oh, damn. What the hell? Hey, 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 we still need a battle. Flipping you off now. Oh, oh this shit right here. I'm analyzing. <laughs> okay, so we're battling her now. Alrighty, so we're taking on uh, Courtney. She's looking at Foxy as always, and she will be coming out with her camera up. Only one Pokemon right now. And here we go with Desert Storm, ready to kick some butt. Tick names. Almost evolve and all that crud. And look at that earthquake attack. For the win! Suck on that, camera up. That's right. That is right. I be strong trainer. And look at that. She's like, funny. Or she, I think she was like singing it or something. I don't even know. She's like, again? That's an unti an an or unanticipated. I knew it. You are interested. <laughs> I'm looking forward to, I'm looking forward to we when we can meet again. Okay. Alrighty. I'll see you pretty soon there. And, uh, well, after doing all that, I me, what a disaster. The red orb stolen from our safekeeping. The red orb and the blue orb must never be separated. They belong together. Hmm. I will entrust you, or I will entrust the remaining blue orb to you, young one. Okay. And, oh wow. What the hell? Oh damn. Oh wow. Whoa. That was pretty cool right there. So there we go, guys. We got ourselves the blue orb. And, well, let's see. I beg of you, chase after those uh, thieves and take back their orb. The wretched leader of theirs. I'm sure he said that they were headed to Slateport City next. 
Okay, alrighty, so yeah, we're gonna be going to Slateport City, so it's already been 30 minutes, I don't think you guys need a, you know, extra, extra on this episode, so we will be continuing the next episode, mm, yeah, we, yeah, we will be continuing the next episode within Mount Pyre, we need, to, we still need to complete that, and then the outskirts of, you know, one Route 123 and all that crud, and then uh, after that we'll be going to Slateport City, but as of right now, I'll be seeing you guys in the next episode. See you guys. Oh, 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 oh,